Welcome to Bridezilla's. I'm your girl, Lonnie Love. So initially I had my mom handling the wedding. She's been doing all the planning and talking to the vendors. But at this point, I can't even really trust her to get it down to the detail that I want. So I have to kind of intervene. Oh, hey, hey Ryan. Hi, hey, Hi, how, how are you are guys you? doing? My name is Doin. I'm Tosin and Wemu's wedding planner. I've been planning the best Nigerian weddings for over 12 years. So we have, what, three days to go? Three days left. Yeah. Yes. We spoke to, spoke to her mom about everything. She said just handle stuff. That's what she told me yesterday uh, when I spoke to her. A few days ago, they gave me a call and told me Tosa's mom was getting overwhelmed because she had been planning the wedding and she needed help. So I decided to step in two days ago. Okay. Let's go in and see in the ballroom and see if you like it as well. Okay. Me and Wemo haven't really been to the traditional venue before. But I needed to be to my liking. Like very nice, very grand and elegant. I needed to scream Tosin. Okay, let's see. So this is it. What do you think? It was like, wow, what that? The carpet screams like game room, Nintendo, like a children's like pizza party type of thing. I don't know, almost reminds me like of a disco. It's a circle, so I get a little dizzy. By the time we set up tables and chairs here, uh -huh. and it gets, the lights are dimmed a little bit, uh -huh. you're not really going to see this. So when I spoke with your mom yesterday, she told me about um, the decorator. He's a guy that I spoke with. I've never worked with him before. Okay. I've never heard of him. Okay. Um, his name is Ola. I have lots of questions. I have questions about the vendors. A lot of vendors I don't know. I've never worked with any of them. I've never heard of them. I went online. I couldn't even find some of the vendors online. Do you know where she found him? Because I've never heard of him and I've been doing weddings for you know over 12 years now. <laughs> okay, so... That's weird. She said she doesn't know what he's doing exactly. He didn't want to tell me, so, he didn't want to um, tell you. you know, like the way the stage has to be set up, there's a certain way you set it up for, you know, a Yoruba traditional wedding. Um, I don't even know what he's doing. He's just gonna throw drapes in there. Does he know to put like the chairs, the couch for the two of you to sit down on? I've never spoken to him. He oh, you've never spoken to him? No. Tosin's a little overwhelmed. She has high expectations to begin with, so she's really expecting a lot, and I'm not sure the vendors are gonna be able to meet her expectations. There's another issue here. When I spoke with him, he said he was doing the tablecloth, but he's not doing the napkins, he's not doing the charger plates. He doesn't know who's doing it, and all the vendors you gave me yesterday, I called all of them, they don't know who's doing that either. So there's no charger plates or napkins yet? No charger plates, no napkins. And the centerpieces, of course. He, he didn't tell me what type of centerpieces he was doing. He just told me he sent you samples. He didn't send me nothing. As of now, it feels a bit of a cluster f we'll So we need, to, we need to see what he's I'm doing. He can't, yeah. he can't just be- I have to call him. We have to call him. Hello? 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 My name's Tosin. Um, I think you've been talking to my mom about the wedding for Friday. Huh? Are you the bride? I am the bride. I don't discuss with the bride. He's saying he doesn't want to speak to the bride. I'm like, I'm the bride. You need to speak to me. This is my wedding. I have with some people tomorrow. Okay, so I'll be there so we could all discuss it. I am extremely nervous after the phone call. I don't even know what he's doing right now. So I'm, I'm freaking out just a little bit. At the end of the day, anything that's not right is gonna fall on me. So I need to get on top of things like ASAP. Nigerian weddings, people are coming for a few things. They're coming for good music. They're coming for food as well. We really need to make sure that we have enough food for everybody. I spoke with the caterer, she said 200, 250, your mom said 300. We're thinking reality. maybe like 350 in reality. The DJ, I've never heard of him either. Have you heard of him before? I have no idea. No. Doyen's annoying me a little bit with the questions because it's like I don't have an answer for it, I don't really know what's going on, and it's stressing me out. What about the gifts? This is where the groom brings um, gifts um, for the bride's family. Um, this looks a bit scant. You need, the, you need more gifts. You're supposed to have like baskets, beautiful baskets. You're supposed to have like different things, yeah. Because he has to look grand, he has to look big. Because you're showing her family that you definitely will be able to take care of her when you marry her. So we're gonna get someone to do it. This is like so last minute for me. We're days away from the wedding, so we're gonna have to call around and see who can help us out. Well, everyone's gonna be scared that she won't be able to take care of me. I'm expensive. I thought if I bought some yams and then I boxed them up that everything's gonna be fine. All right, so we just have to get everything together, okay? It's time for you to, you know, start getting involved. 
The community will most definitely judge me if our wedding is not up to par. If the big no-nos are missing, like if there's not enough food, if the decor doesn't look good, if there's not enough gifts, everyone's gonna judge us and everyone's gonna be talking. They will talk about you for years to come, for sure.